what I'm going to do here is convey the height advantage in the original Total War, Shogun 1. So I'm going to play on a map that has some really steep gradients, normal, so there's no hidden combat modifiers, of which there does exist some in Shogun 1. Summer, and we're going to bring two units of bow samurai. Samurai archers, they're called in this game. And we've got rain. Not a problem. And we're going to find the best spot to perch on. So we start up here, and that means they start down there, but I can go for even better than that. If we go all the way over there, we can get an even steeper start. So I'm going to just run for it. I'm going to go for it. Yep. So they start down there, and they're going to advance through this valley soon, because they're designated attacker, and that will give us the opportunity to fire down into them as they advance. So I'm going to fast forward. The fast forward feature was really good in this game. So they'll be tired just like us, I think. And I'm going to go up here. So we're going to start there. And that will give us a really good height advantage over them. And we'll have lead time on... We'll have first shot, first fire opportunity. Probably get like seven or eight volleys before they can retaliate. And they'll only be able to retaliate when they get to here. Whereas we can fire probably all the way down to those trees, I think. That's how substantial the height advantage is. Where are they coming? Or is it too foggy? What the fuck? Did they go up to the top where we start? Are they looking for us? What the fuck? Alright, I'm waiting then. They've got to come over here. Oh wait, they see us? Yeah, they see us. Finally! Fucking hell, I thought they were gonna just get stuck. Alright, so they're gonna come down through this basin here. I'm going to position even better. They're going to be tired. So we're going to get to do three different things. Shoot first. Potentially have more lethal projectiles from the height. And charge down and get a better melee. So let's see how far we can shoot. So we can shoot to the top of this hill. If this hill wasn't here we could shoot even farther in terms of horizontal distance. And we're going to be able to charge. They'll, they'll start shooting, I mean, once they get to about here. So that's when we charge. So we're going to get three volleys and then a superior fight in the melee. And they're nearly in range. And we should automatically fire at them. Yeah, it's a massive advantage and it's always been here. So from the very first Total War... Height advantage was a big deal. It was a substantial, significant advantage. You were always supposed to utilise it. And it was always supposed to be able to win battles. Alright, we're going to shoot now. Come on, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Here we go. One volley. The volleys, but there isn't proper leading, they don't aim ahead to anticipate. And we got our first blood. So we're going to keep getting free damage on them. We're not doing much, but they still can't shoot at us. The height advantage that we have on them is too great, they can't retaliate. They need to get closer to retaliate, and that involves slogging up a muddy hill in the rain to get closer. So this is a massive advantage being on this hill, this is a hell of a power position. And there's nothing they can do to mitigate it. They can't go all the way around, because then we can just go along the hill. This hill is ours and they have to advance up it. 
And as soon as they start firing back, I'm gonna charge. Any second now. But we've already fired off a quarter of our ammo. Yeah, I'm charging now. So we killed 10 of them. They may get some good volleys, because they're firing along the slope. Only a few of them though. The back ranks are not firing. We are quite tired. 116. So they are doing effective damage. They've done they've killed six to our nine. And we've caught them. 114 to 111 in the melee starts. So we killed nine to their six. And if we had a more favourable fight, I mean if we picked a better hill where we were firing right into them as they were advancing up. So if the the trajectory of the arrows intersected with their movement, we could have had way more kills. And we could have picked us a part of the hill that has a, a convex to do that. So we could have placed ourselves on a convex hill, spread out in a really long line, and it would have been extreme. But as it was, we only did like nine casualties, something like that. But in the melee, we're making up for it. The height advantage in the melee. And those are the two most important things. The first shot opportunity, the first fire opportunity, and the melee advantage. Those are the two most important things. Extra projectile damage is not important. And that might exist too. Arrows being loose downhill maybe have higher velocity and do more damage on impact. Maybe, I don't know. But what is certain is that you get to shoot first and you do better in the melee when you decide to take it. And look at that, we've killed basically everything to lose a quarter of our unit. So, massive force multiplier advantage. We controlled for everything apart from fatigue. Basically. It's normal difficulty and we have the same units to both samurai, so that difference is entirely down to the hill that we were on, and it meant that we lost one for every four that we killed, and that's it, very substantial.